Welcome to On Texas Football. I'm CJ Vogel, joined today by Jerry Hamilton for this weekend's recruiting breakdown. Of course, this is a big one. It's spring game weekend. Uh, there will be football played right back here. I'm, a, of course, here Tuesday morning for Steve Sarkeesman's uh, weekly availability with the media. Uh, but the attention, not yet there. You know, we're focused on the recruiting and the guys that will be joining us, uh, or joining the team on campus this weekend uh, to check out the spring game, check out the festivities. Jerry, we, of course, know Crestel Conte is going to put on a show behind me uh, when it comes to Bevo Boulevard, uh, Longhorn City Limits as well. Everything that goes into a game day, we'll get a little bit of a taste of this weekend. Of course, hopefully this weather clears up a little bit. Yeah. It'll be nice, sunny. Uh, not too hot is the, the hope there, but you can't be too precise with what you want in the weather. Uh, but what you can have is a nice visitors list. And Jerry, off the bat, uh, you've seen Texas have a pretty good showing April 6th. April 13th was a little quieter with uh, – uh, some 2026 guys coming in. This weekend feels like, you know, the Taj Mahal of recruiting weekends for the Longhorns this spring. they got a lot of big names coming in, some four- and five-star guys. Of course, you look down the list, John Turntime coming in, uh, the 2026 five-star offensive lineman as well. You know, big picture-wise, what is it about this group that kind of stands out to you when you look at who's coming in for the spring game? Yeah, I think, uh, look, it's it's in-state and it's out-of-state guys. It's committed guys. It's not guys not committed. There's some guys that are going to schedule. You know, they still have to get on the plane and get here to take their first ever visits to the University of Texas. Three of those could be defensive linemen. I mean, that's a, it's a big weekend for Kenny Baker right before the spring evaluation period begins. So uh, it it's kind of encompasses everything, but – Last year at this time, when Brandon Baker and his family came to Texas to visit for the spring game, that really kick-started that recruitment, a recruitment for a five-star offensive tackle out of modern day that Texas ended up beating out or Ohio State and Oregon for. So who is going to be that prospect or two this weekend where that recruitment gets jump-started and kick-started, and then the official visit happens, and then Texas wins a recruitment that maybe wasn't expected as of a month month and a half ago. Uh, and I know we're going to talk about it all. Before we do, I need to, uh, you know, I need to tell people about Mark Saunders. And that includes the teams that are recruiting against Texas because you may need a little insurance this weekend. I got to tell you, man, <laughs> when it comes to protecting all your stuff, wouldn't it be great to have one place that protects it all? Here's some great news for you, Texas fans. Texas Allstate agent Mark Saunders is the only insurance agent you'll need to help keep tabs on protection for all your stuff. Everything from your home, car, and boat to that motorcycle, RV, and even that ATV. Call Texas Allstate agent Mark Saunders' office today, 512-218-8571. Are you in great hands? You will be with over 35 years of experience that Mark Saunders has. Texas alum Mark Saunders. Give him a call, 512-218-8571, and do what? dozens of Texas fans that are members of the on Texas football community have done the, so far. Perfect. Thank you, Jerry. And thank you, Mark Saunders, for sponsoring this week's recruiting breakdown. Jerry, I'll tell you what, I was driving by DKR today and you start noticing a lot of service trucks, you know, some, yeah. some cleaning services, you got uh, some construction workers out here kind of finalizing, uh, you know, some, some little spring uh, projects at DKR and it gets me excited. Of course, uh, a lot of folks excited for the spring game coming out to see the new team. You get to see Quinn Ewers. You also get to see Arch Manning and Trey Owens. Uh, and there will be two other quarterbacks on campus Ooh. this weekend that we'll get to talk about here. KJ Lacey, the 2025 Texas commit, back on campus uh, for yet another visit this spring. But also Keelan Russell, uh, the quarterback out of Duncanville, who will be making the trip down. Texas has been monitoring him just a little bit over the last couple of months. Uh, what's the, the update on the quarterback recruiting in the 2025 class? Yeah, the interesting thing will be, it will be if the two are photographed standing next to each other, um, which is doubtful, right? Um, it's competition. But uh, K.J. Lacey uh, remains solidly committed to Texas despite Ole Miss and Auburn continuing to recruit him. Uh, he was on campus April 6th. He's on campus here again. He's going to be scheduled to visit June 21st through 23rd, one of Texas's two big recruiting weekends in June. Uh, so, look, his parents will be on campus with him in June, right? So, But this is another vi visit for K.J. Lacey. He's really active. He's gotten active in helping recruit wide receivers in the class. Uh, but Keelan Russell, an interesting name. Look, uh, he's he's a guy who welcomes all competition. He, he ain't scared of it. He's commit, been committed to SMU for a while. He'll visit SMU officially in May. 
He'll visit Florida June seventh through ninth. Alabama's even talking to him. A and M. He was at there. He was out at A and M recently. Um, and then there's Texas. Um, and it'll be interesting to see. I don't think some questions have been asked. Could Texas take two quarterbacks at a class? I don't think that happens, right? Um, so, I, but the question now is, will Texas offer Keelan Russell this week in or in May during the spring evaluation period? And, that, and that's what will be interesting to follow. Both those guys, very talented quarterbacks. I'll say this. Um, KJ Lacey's remained solid despite, you know, being on campus at some other places. It's recruiting. Texas has other commitments that have been on campus at other places. Difference is KJ Lacey's a quarterback. We'll see what right. happens there. KJ Lacey's remained solid with Texas so far. But the key question is, will Sarkeesian and A.J. Milwee offer a second quarterback in this class? And that would be Keelan Russell if they do. That will be the big thing to watch this week. And, Jerry, there are two things I wanted to add on here. First, Keelan Russell not shying away from competition. We know that to be the case. He's at Duncanville. He's won a state championship. Even at the Elite 11 earlier this month, the the order in which the quarterbacks threw in, it went K.J. Lacey one and then Keelan Russell two. I'm not sure if that was by design. I'm not sure if that's what was set up by the Elite 11 roster. But anytime KJ threw right behind him was Keelan Russell. So that to me kind of indicates, yeah, I'm not afraid of the moment. I'm not afraid of who's in front of me. I'm here to compete. Uh, that's Keelan, one thing. Keelan's measuring himself against yep. KJ Lacey and other quarterbacks. That's what he, he, hey, look, he said it. That's what he wants to do. He wants to say, hey, well, how do I measure up against these guys to your point? Absolutely. Uh, currently committed to SMU. I need to add that in as well. Uh, he did say an offer from Texas would change the entire perspective of his yeah. recruitment, not just because of Texas, but because other schools will then begin to take notice and take that recruitment, I would say, a little more serious, maybe a little bit more on the edge now that Steve Sarkeesian's given his nod of approval there. Uh, but to the other point I wanted to make, Jerry, is K.J. Lacey, the Texas commit, is coming in with a number of other Texas commits as well. Texas now has seven guys in this 2025 class after the uh, commitment from Elijah Barnes last weekend. Uh, of course, Ricky Stewart, Emory Winston, Lance Jackson, all scheduled to be on campus this weekend. When you look at it and see uh, the rest of the names that Texas is bringing in this weekend, knowing that there will be four guys in the class on campus to help recruit and kind of help pitch Texas to these players, because we've talked about it, players do recruit other players. How important is that for the Longhorn staff to kind of get some extra hands on deck for this big weekend? Yeah, I think it helps because the coaches will be busy on spring game day, right? I mean, they're going to spend time with the recruits, obviously, but it's not like when you come out for a practice, there's a whole game day. Um, there's the whole walk through the field. There's the whole game day pomp and circumstance to it, right, even though it's a spring game. So uh, it's important to have those positive voices, whether it's the players um, or the guys committed uh, to Texas in this 25 class. And, look, it, it's a big it, it's a big weekend. I mean, especially Kenny Baker's got his, name, his own name circled, right? If the guys that are scheduled show up, that's the thing. These guys still have to get on planes. And I'm going to mention three defensive linemen, we broke the news yesterday that Derry Norris from Spruce Creek in Port Orange, Florida, in between that Orlando, Dayton, a Daytona Beach area, him and his father are coming in. First visit to Texas, a guy Kenny Baker offered. This will be the first time he's seen him in person. Uh, but a key visit here, he's got Miami officials set up for June 7th through 9th. LSU and A&M were late March offers as well as Florida. Uh, his recruitment's really starting to pick up. Kevin Wynn out of Greensboro, Georgia, Green County, in between Atlanta and Athens. And before you just chalk him up to Georgia, Florida State's probably in the lead right now. If he follows through and comes in for a visit, that's huge for Texas. He's a 6'3", 320-pound, over-the-ball player, similar to Zion Williams, right? So you got to have multiple guys who can play over the ball that you're targeting. Kevin Wynn would be one of those Texas would be the first time they get him on campus. Obviously, Florida State, Alabama, and Georgia are all ahead of everybody else right now um, in that race. Um, and, and then there's Malik Autry if he shows up. Look, Malik Autry is supposed to show up before and got rescheduled. He was back at Florida for a second time last weekend. He's supposed to be in Austin this weekend. We'll see what happens there. He's an Auburn commitment from Opelika, right? You could throw a rock and hit Auburn from Opelika. It's a tough recruitment, but – He's going to visit Oregon. He's going to visit USC. He's been on campus at Florida a couple of times. If you can get him on campus, you got to take your swings at these top national guys. And there's so many of them in the southeast on I-10 headed east from uh, the Texas state line over to F Florida and then south and then north into the Carolinas. So uh, Texas has to take the swings at these guys. Uh, all three of those out-of-state D linemen scheduled to be in. First time they would see Texas and meet. 
Kenny Baker. So that makes it a big weekend for Kenny Baker. And it helps, to your point, to have a K.J. Lacey from Sarah Land, Alabama. Say hello to those guys. Say, man, this is why I picked Texas. I like Texas. As, this is why, blah, blah, blah. Yes, as as the, as it helps with uh, Emory Winston as well from yeah. Calhoun, Georgia. So uh, two out-of-state guys that should help with the out-of-state guys as well. One other out-of-state guy I wanted to mention was on, actually on the offensive side of the ball uh, in the trenches as well, Jerry. We've seen Cal Flood have a busy April 6th weekend with the Coleman brothers, uh, Lamont Rogers, John Mills. Won't be as busy this weekend, uh, but one big name we need to keep an eye on is Nick Brooks, who does have his official visit to Texas uh, June 14th through 16th coming in. Uh, scheduled to come in. Again, this is another one of those guys where he just has to get on the plane and come out uh, and show that interest for Texas. Uh, you yeah, Nick Brooks, yeah, Nick Brooks, one of the top offensive line prospects in the country at a Cedar Rapids, Iowa, JFK high school. One time Iowa commitment backed off of that. He, I think Georgia may be out in front for him right now over Iowa. And then Texas is third, USC's fourth. Those are the four official visits he has set up. If he follows through with this visit, look, this is this could be similar. And I'm not saying he ends up at Texas, but it could be similar to Brandon Baker without the SoCal ties for Steve Sarkeesian. But Kyle Flood went to Cedar Rapids to see Nick Brooks in January. That's pretty much given up a full day of recruiting to make that trip. So uh, Texas obviously got really good feedback from Nick Brooks and the people around him, uh, so much so that he's got two visits scheduled this weekend and then June 14th through 16th. And he's the real wild card in offensive line recruiting for Texas right now. The offensive line group in-state is so talented so deep, so good. Um, I mean, that I think Texas is probably going to get four of their five guys in the class from out of state, if not all five. One of the guys that could ups upset that all five being from in-state would be Nick Brooks if he had a great visit this weekend, shows up for that visit and falls through with the June official. Oh, and by the way, I mentioned, CJ, you mentioned it earlier. John Turntine is scheduled to come in. The 2026 yeah. five-star offense on Texas football five-star. He hasn't been ranked five-star by anybody else yet for some reason, but he's a five-star prospect from North Crowley. He's going to be in, scheduled to be in, according to somebody close to the North Crowley program. Look, I think he's as good a prospect, uh, as talented a prospect as there is in, in the state of Texas, period. And I thought that 24, 25, 26 class, he's already been on campus twice. He was at a and last weekend, so it would be big to get Turntine in once again this weekend. We, we talked a little bit about Emory Winston. Before we flip over to the linebackers, because there's a lot of them, there's also a second 2025 tight end coming in this weekend. And Keoti Armstrong visited a week ago, but this week Texas is going out to California, El Dorado Hills, for Caleb Edwards coming in for his first visit to Texas. Uh, has a, a, a June 7th through 9th official visit also locked in. What's the latest on Caleb Edwards? Yeah, Caleb Edwards told me uh, Monday, I guess it was Monday or late Sunday, I can't remember, I have to look back, that he was going to, he's scheduled to be in for the spring game this weekend. We'll see. Again, these out-of-state guys actually have to follow through, uh, but he's scheduled June 7th through 9th. But most of the time, that's how it goes. You get the kids on campus one time before the official visit in June, and that's what Texas is truly pushing for with these out-of-state guys. Caleb Edwards, 6'6", 225. Uh, we, we, put, we linked his football and his basketball uh, clips from Huddle on ontexasfootball.com. Make sure and go check that out and become an OTFOG member, by the way. Uh, but Caleb Edwards is, he's more of that in that big tight end that can play in line, but also has some ability in the passing game. He, Him and Keody Armstrong are the two Texas tight ends, Texas recruiting in that regard. Both those guys, four star prospects. Then you have Amari Winston, the commit in town, and Nick Townsend, who is going to come in, but has regional track meet, so he can't come in. Those are the two different types of tight ends Texas recruitment. Caleb Edwards is a guy who Texas offered in January. Kind of a little bit of surprise that he's coming in June 7th through 9th, but it does tell you that Texas is moving forward at that tight end position and going to bring in four guys for official visits. Yeah, that's big. I actually uh, messed up a little bit earlier. There will be five Texas commits on campus with Elijah Barnes coming in as well. The, the most recent Texas commit joining that group as well. Wanted to get that correct because we are going to talk about the linebackers. There are some pretty talented guys coming in, led by Barnes, the Texas commit, but Riley Pettijan, uh, the McKinney linebacker, Nasir Wyatt out of modern day, California as well. Uh, but Jonathan Cunningham, an interesting one on North Crowley as well, scheduled to be on campus. It's going to be a busy week, not only for Pete Kwiatkowski and that defensive staff, but for Johnny Nansen, who we know is coming off of a little high with uh, the recent commitment of Elijah Barnes. Yeah, Elijah Barnes, huge commitment for Texas. A versatile guy. He can play Mike. He can, you, can, you can move him out the edge with that length and that size. He could rush the passer a little bit. Very, he can play in coverage. Very 
well-rounded all-around linebacker prospect. Uh, Texas is going to take three linebackers in the class. Uh, and I really think they have five top targets right now. Obviously, one's committed. So four targets for two spots. Riley Pettijan out of McKinney, four-star, one of the top 50-ranked kids in the country by everybody. He's scheduled to be in this weekend. Uh, he was at USC, the sixth. I believe he was at AM last week. And he also has a June 14th through 16th official visit scheduled around official visits to FSU um, and, and uh, USC, uh, possibly Ohio State as well there. Uh, and then there is uh, Jonathan Cunningham who you mentioned, who's going to officially visit June 14th through 16th. He was on campus last Thursday with a high school coach from North Crowley, scheduled to come back with a parent this weekend, which is what Texas normally does before that official visit in June. Six, two and a half, 195 pound upside instinctive long arm linebacker from North Crowley. Uh, and then the Sear Wyatt has been added to the list. And it'll be interesting to see if a June 21st through 23rd official visit uh, happens as well for Nasir Wyatt. More of that out playing off the edge, rangy linebacker with really good closing speed, right? So he's different from the other linebackers Texas is recruiting. He's a really good pass rusher from the outside linebacker position out of modern day, four-star linebacker. And then Mattia Tagoa, who's committed to USC. Texas and remains scheduled for a June 21st through 23rd official visit. They'll continue to recruit him through the whistle. So this weekend, I believe three of those top four targets for two spots will be on campus. Jerry, when you look at this group holistically and the names that are on there, what's the strength that Texas is really getting at right now? Is it that linebacking group? Linebacker and D-line if all the D-line guys show up. Because, look, reality is it's a deep year in state at defensive line for Texas. Uh, but outside of Zion Williams, outside of possibly D.J. Sanders, I mean, they, they aren't pushing. Dylan Battle's not a guy they're really pushing for. So half of that class is going to come from out of state. You have Brandon Brown committed from O'Galley, which will be a battle all the way through. You have Josiah Sharma at Folsom, California, which I think is headed towards an Alabama-Texas finale uh, in, in June or July. But outside of that, Texas is really looking in the deep south and those southeast region states. And getting these kids on campus this weekend is so key uh, because in Steve Sarkeesian and the staff's philosophy, they want to get these guys on campus for an unofficial before just the official visit to see where they really stand. Is this guy a fit at Texas? Is this recruitment a fit for Texas? Is it worth the time invested on both parties? You don't right. want to do that with just an official visit. You want that to happen in the unofficial visit setting. So I think linebacker, D-line, huge weekends for Texas. All the receivers have already been on campus this month, right? And at quarterback, it's a big weekend because there's going to be so much attention around K.J. Lacey and Keelan Russell. Well, certainly we'll have a good opportunity to see some uh, some Texas Longhorns make some plays up in the front seven as well. Anthony Hill, David Benda, two standouts from this spring that we've continued to hear about, as well as the edges. And I know Lance Jackson will be excited to see Colin Simmons, Trey Moore, Ethan Burke, Baron Sorrell in action there as well. Uh, hey, we'll know some more 26s and 27s. Uh, yeah. who will be attending later on in this week. Texas is still filing out those invitations to uh, some big-name prospects in the, the younger grades at the moment. Uh, one name I did want to bring up as well because he announced right before we, we went live that he will be in attendance is 2027 Cy Woods running back Wayne Shanks, uh, the 16-6A newcomer of the year a year ago, holds three offers right now, Oregon State, SMU, and Texas Tech. Why is this interesting? Well, Texas has been uh, – Pretty precise getting 27s on the campus this year or this spring specifically. You look at Weston Nielsen uh, earlier this week, uh, Carmelo Clawson, the walks at Hatchy Edge, who visited last week as well. Uh, we've started to see them kind of look around in the region uh, for some 2027 prospects right now. He's the most recent to announce that he will be attending, of course. Uh, and then in the 26th class, John Turntime, the big name coming in. We expect to see some other names file in as the week progresses. Uh, but one last word, Jerry, and before we get there, can you remind our good friends about uh, Mark Saunders and Allstate? Yeah, look, if you're recruiting against Texas right now, you need to contact Texas Allstate agent Mark Saunders for some insurance. I got to tell you, when it comes to protecting all your stuff, wouldn't it be great to have one place that protects it all? Here's some good news. Texas Allstate agent and Texas alum Mark Saunders is the only insurance agent you'll need to help keep tabs on protection for all your stuff, everything from your home, your car and boat to your motorcycle, RV, ATV, and maybe your four-star prospect committed elsewhere. Call Texas Allstate agent Mark Saunders' office today, 
218-8571. Are you in good hands? You'll be in great hands with over 35 years of experience of the Mark Texas alum Mark Saunders. Give him a call today. 512-218-8571. Perfect. Thank you, Jerry. And thank you again to Mark Saunders for being the sole sponsor of this week's recruiting breakdown. Hey, we're only a few days away from there being football played here once again at DKR. Uh, Jerry, I wanted to leave you with one final question, because, of course, I do think that on-field play will have an impact on what these recruits take away from the game. Uh, when you look at it and see the guys coming in, what needs to happen for Texas on the field to have a lasting impression with some of these guys here? I think more than what players make plays necessarily it's the energy it's the communication between coaches and players um it's the way players respond to their coaching staff kids watch these things so the fans are going to be watching to say hey third team running back uh, player x looked really good man maybe he can make a move to second team prospects are totally different they won't look at the scoreboard they don't care they don't care who's first second or third team unless they personally know the guy what they're looking for is energy. They're looking for the communication. They're looking for the relationships of the players and coaches. And then they're going to be asking players questions. I mean, that's the key is when, when they talk to players, if Nick Brooks comes on this visit and he walks up to, to Kelvin Banks and asks him a certain question or two or three about Texas, that's a more much more impactful on Nick Brooks' recruitment than what happens in DKR on Saturday during the spring game. So for the fans, it's one thing. For the recruits, it's something totally different. Absolutely. Hey, on a bright side, Jerry, from the last two scrimmages that we've talked about with recruits who've been on campus, energy, uh, the atmosphere, that's been a recurring theme that we've heard as well as keeping eyes on specific position coaches and seeing yeah. them kind of work with their guys. That's been important, and we've heard that so far this spring a number of times with uh, recruits on campus. So okay, because what visits do what visits do CJ is it's cross checking. When Kenny Baker's on the phone with the Derry Norris and he talks to him about his coaching style, right? This is what I expect out of guys. This is what I see from you. This is where yeah, this is where I think you can get better, right? And all the things that go into that conversation. Derry Norris is coming to campus. He's going to cross check that phone call. That's what happens in recruiting. Uh, so it's these visits are cross checking by recruits. Uh, they want to see all the things. Uh, that they hear about from the Texas staff and from Texas uh, recruits, but then they want to cross-check things for themselves. Absolutely. And as we continue to add to this uh, visitors list this week leading up to this Texas spring game, make sure to join us on ontexasfootball.com. Become an OTFOG using the code OTFOG. For just $39.95, you can become uh, an OTFOG on ontexasfootball.com, getting all the latest up to, uh, intel and updates on visitors, not only for this weekend, but for the summer uh, official visits coming up. And of course, the season this fall. So come join us in the community. we got a good thing going over there. Me, Jerry Hamilton, Bobby Burton, uh, Blake Monroe, and Rod Babers. Uh, really got things going. It's going to be a good time. Of course, come join us out here as well, Saturday, 11 a.m. Uh, ahead of time for our little on Texas football action before the spring game at one. So uh, for Jerry Hamilton, any final quote, uh, any notes real quick before we sign off? No, I just uh, we're just hoping for good weather Saturday. That's it. I'm right there with you. Uh, for Jerry Hamilton, I'm CJ Vogel. Uh, thank you, Mark Saunders and Allstate. This has been uh, this weekend's uh, re recruiting breakdown. Welcome.